Okay, you guys, if you have done your inactive, if you've done your prospect, if you've done your current, I also then want you to do something in your stories. I just had a girl write me that says, oh my gosh, I'm going to log in and order that right now. And I said, it launches tomorrow morning. And she says, I'm setting an alarm. I'm not going to miss out. Like if you guys could read this, like that's what she wrote back to me. And it was from the video I put in my stories this morning. So they look great. Uh, people are super, super excited about it. So if you do your three, do a little extra credit and get something in your storages. So um, it's not your storages, in your stories. So I told you, I was going to give you some tips, but I wanted to chat with you just a little bit about something. So a lot of us hear the word consistency all the time, you know, and with anything, um, how important that is. And my background in health and wellness, um, I often think about consistency. And this business, one of the reasons that I think I've done it so well is because the discipline I have in my life when it comes to nutrition and fitness, I've been able to apply to this business, right? Jenny always says the people in network marketing that do this so well have a skill set. They come with a certain skill set. And when I think that Jessica has amazing verbiage or she was great at sales or she was great at developing teams because of what she did beforehand, one of the things that I came to this industry with, a skill set was discipline and it was about being consistent. And so if you've ever been around me and I know certain people have traveled with me on this call, Laura, Lori and Brandy and Ann and Jessica and Holly, they've seen, I work out, right? I work out pregnant. I work out postpartum. I work out when I'm not feeling well. I work out hungover. I work out on vacation. Like that's a part of who I am. And the principles of why I work out have less to do about the calories I'm putting out, but for every other thing they show up in my life, the way they affect my mental health, the way that they give muscle tone, the way that I, you know, don't have stress, the way that I sleep better, the food choices I want to make. And I know that the minute I fall off that bandwagon or the minute that I'm not wanting to do that, everything I don't want shows up. And this business is the same way. And Jessica highlighted her last week and I wanna highlight her again. And I actually was referencing her today talking to another team member. Erica Rothenberger is so impressive to so many of us with all of the hats that she wears. Her mom hat, you know, her um, construction, you know, engineering hat with her isogenics hat, with her speaking hat. But with the thing that I have seen that has aided in so much of her success in this business is how she's so consistent. You know, if she only works her isogenics business for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour a day, she does her reach outs, she does her follow ups, she does a social media post, and she checks in with current, you know, team members. And this business doesn't have to be hard, but it is showing up and doing the small things over and over. It's mastering the mundane, right? And if you are constantly starting and stopping and starting and stopping and starting and stopping or sitting down and doing things that are busy but not income producing, this business is going to be so frustrating, just like weight loss is so frustrating, right? And so we've all coached people on a 30-day, put um, a weird face, your favorite awkward emoji in the chat, right? If you've coached someone on 30 day, that's constantly telling you like, oh, I, I don't need to reorder because I haven't had my shakes or, oh, I haven't cleansed in a while, but I'm going to cleanse or, oh, I broke my cleanse because I got really hungry. I mean, look at this, right? And we're all like, oh my gosh, just follow the system. We know that the system works. So we also know that this business works, but it's about showing up. And so I want you guys, anybody who's been in this business for a while, Write down what is one thing that you do consistently that you think has aided in success for your business. Write it in the chat. Let's share. So some of you, it's like you post on social media. You might have a huge following. You get a lot of leads. Jessica, we know it's her birthday messages, right? When she does her birthday messages, it brings her a great list. She never has enough time to go through that whole list. Great prospects. You know, she works the algorithm. Some people are checking in with their customers. I know Laura Lori is amazing at networking, right? I mean, she goes to more networking events than anybody I know. She's consistent at putting herself out there. Brandy's saying driving the line and prospecting. Jamie says following up with the team. Emily says getting out and meeting new people. I mean, there's a lot of things that are doing here. But when we're looking at our business, we're looking at cycle growth. We're, we're looking at the new team bonus that's going to launch. We're looking at the 5K pools. Part of this is saying, what am I consistently doing? And I want to remind you guys that inconsistent is still consistent. If you are inconsistently not getting on calls, if you are inconsistently not getting to events, not hosting events, not, you know, calling people, not following up people, not posting on social media, guess what you're going to consistently get? The things you don't want in your business. And so I want us to really just lock into some of those basics and say, what are the things that got me there? Or what are the things I need to be doing? in order to get the results in my business. And I love all of these tips, right? And Laura Lorian um, did a great job last week or two weeks ago talking about what to do with a new builder. But as an established builder, someone who gets on these calls, someone who wants to see cycle growth, someone who wants to tap into this new team bonus, I will tell you guys, the first thing you need to have is a list. 
if you don't have a list, you don't have anything to do, right? So you need a list of inactive people. You need a list of current people that you're, you know, developing and you need a list of people that you're prospecting. So at any point, if you're trying to bring people back that haven't ordered in a while, you're trying to develop people to consultant, manager, you know, director and above, or if you're trying to enroll new people, you need to have a list. Now, there are many people that have gone through their phone A to Z and messaged every single people. And there's a lot of you that never have. So I remember one time when I was like going for a huge, huge goal, I was actually going to hit two star on Super Bowl Sunday. This was back in 2014. And I was so determined. And I literally started calling every person on my phone. And I remember calling a guy and, you know, it was like, oh my gosh, you know, I have like learned about the best things since sliced white bread. That's what we were saying back then. And I said, it's too good to keep a secret. I've got to tell everybody. And this guy was like, oh, now you call me back. And the short story is we had apparently been on a date. I had blown him off. I never called him back. But he bought shakes. He was like, what are these things? And he was a fitness guy and he was super excited. And he was like an enrollment. He was like, came on with like a month's supply of shakes, right? But when I think about where I started and where I am now, I consistently have a list. So when I tell you guys for the very first time, I feel like I'm really working in the pockets. I mean, really working because I have things like, not only do I have a newborn baby, but I like am anti-screen time around the newborn baby. So I have to figure out when he is down and not by me, then I'm on my phone. But so, so, so consistent. I have posted engagement posts in these groups that I'm strategically working through, right? Some babies born in 2023, some breastfeeding groups, which I realized Emily Sutherland was in there. I was like, oh, we're going to end up prospecting the same people, right? Like, there was a post and she liked it. And I was like, hey, look at us both in this group. But I will post something and I quickly go through the likes. So I click on the likes and I do a screen recording. You know how you can do that on your phone? So I open up all the likes so I can see everyone that did it or everybody that engaged. I do a screen recording. So I'm like, okay, this can be my list before I lose all these people, right? And then I save it. So then when I sit down and I do my prospecting and I can go and I can find those people in the group and I land on someone like Kim and I say, hey girl, we're both in the breastfeeding page. I just want to say thank you so much for the tips. I bought the nipple butter. You know, I just want to reach out and introduce myself, right? Not very many people you can be talking to about nipple butter right now, but if you're sending a message about nipple butter, you have something in common that you're going to build rapport, right? There are people in there. I am not asking if people are looking for a side hustle income. However, I see them right now. They go, I never thought I'd be a stay-at-home mom. The thought of going back to work is devastating to me. What are people doing from home? Does anybody know of a work-from-home job? You guys, I am jumping on those posts left and right, not because I'm poaching people, but because I am so grateful that I'm freaking home right now and I want to pay it forward. I mean, that is an immediate voice text. And it says something like, oh my gosh, April, I saw your post. I can only imagine right now what you're feeling because I am so thankful that the company I've partnered with has me home with my baby. And I usually send a picture and I say, I think you'd be amazing at what I do. I know we're busy. We've got screaming kids in the background. Let me know if it's easier for me to voice memo you, or if you want to chat on how I can show you how to make a significant income from home. Right. When I tell you I'm doing this consistently, whether it is a couple in the middle of the night, a couple in the morning, if it's a couple before bed, but I have a list and that's where that's coming from. OK, so when we think about the shake drop right now, the shake drops are a great way to go back to past customers, to go to your current customers, to get your current customers to reach out to people and to talk to new people. Right. There's a great way to bring it up. Some people don't want to bring up weight loss. Like, Am I going to offend this person if I tell them they need a 30 day? Right. Or some people don't want to sell the collagen right now because they don't have that great of a result or whatever the noise is, is in our head. The seasonal shakes are a great entry point, but they don't work if you don't have a list. OK, the second thing when I think about consistency of what we're doing is your energy. You have got to recruit yourself every single day. I had someone message me last week that I didn't even want to finish the voice memo and she's in my second PET. And if she's on here, I love her because me and Laura Lori both called her out on it immediately. Right. But I didn't want to listen to the voice memo because she was such a Debbie Downer and I eat, breathe, sleep, ooze, isogenics. Right. And the first thing we both said to her was, okay, you got to change your energy. Like what is happening right now? And she did go on to rank advance, right? Which is awesome. But that will stop you, right? If you're frustrated, if you woke up and you're like, oh, so-and-so unfriended me. Oh, so-and-so un you know, unfollowed me. Oh, this person returned or my cycles yesterday weren't what they wanted them to be. 
and you go down that pathway, what you focus on grows, right? What you think about, you bring about. Your thoughts become your actions. So then you're not going to prospect. You're not going to show up in an event. Your cycles are not going to grow. And you're going to reinforce your sto yourself a story that doesn't happen. But when your energy is excited, you guys, go look at Jessica Ringner's post today. Like, that is so authentic. I freaking loved it. I, sh I screenshotted that and sent that to a couple people where she's saying, okay, here's this dichotomy of like, I got to be on time. And, you know, the house cleaned up, but that she's also getting her kids in this positive mindset and that getting them out the door with the right thoughts, with the right focus. Like, how incredible is that? I mean, I would have loved to have grown up in a network marketing home, right? When I think about what Adonis is going to hear every single day, like the type of positive podcast we listen to, the conversations we have with the law of attraction, like he's going to be a superstar. He heard it in the womb, right? But that's this, uh, the second tip that I would tell you when it comes to consistency is that you've got to have your energy in the right place. You've got to believe in it. You've got to be excited about it. And you've got to be positive. If your brain always goes to what isn't working, that's all you're going to see. I know Holly just posted about the four agreements. I love that. The one that more than anything is to never take anything personally, right? We want to be impeccable with our words. We want to do our very best. But it's like when things are frustrating and it's like, wah, wah, wah. That's what you're going to show up when you go, okay, I can do hard things. That wasn't great, but I'm on to the next, right? And you just pick up your bootstraps and you keep going and you stay excited and you stay enthusiastic. It's going to be incredible. I'll tell you a brief story, but there's a woman in our neighborhood page who was selling a baby monitor. And ironically, I just text Ryan like three pictures from Amazon last night because I want one that's not on Wi-Fi, a whole nother story. But I was like, what do you think about these? And then he tagged me in our neighborhood page. And some girl was like, I have an extra one. Do you want it? I was like, oh my gosh, right? Anyway, she comes over here today. We start chatting. She was with Mary Kay for a very long time, right? I was like, ding -a ling -a ling I mean, my energy factor of just, I was so excited. I was so enthusiastic. I mean, 10x everything. I was like, channel my, my Jenny Elo, channel my Jenny Elo right now. I was like, one stop. Like this lady just walked into my house and I felt like someone just amazingly got dropped into my life. Right. And had this great conversation. My mom had to be here. My mom happened to be here. She validated the company, validated our last 10 years. Guess who enrolled? Right. It happened over a baby monitor. Like, I mean, I wasn't even looking for that one. My husband had a, a role in that. But it's the fact that like, when you're ready for people to show up, they are going to show up for you. Okay. So the first is I want you to have a list. The second is I want you to really, really, really manage your energy. And the third thing is I want you to plug into the team and the systems and the tools that we have. There's no reason to reinvent this wheel, right? From PVC to the videos, to three-way messages, to the social groups that we have, this business is plug and play at that point. Now, yes, every team is different and you have to work with people one-on-one -on -one to go through their business or develop a certain skill set. But when you are coachable, right, when you teach other people to be coachable, you have more freedom. And what I have found is when people want to do it their own way or they don't plug into the system or they make the systems weird or whatever it may be, your business is what's going to reflect that. And when you just are coachable and you say, okay, this is the message they say to send out. This is the video that I should be sending out. These are the pages I add people to and you plug into that. It makes it fun. People see the community and it takes the pressure off of you. So just look back and say last week, you know, did I reach out to a lot of people on my list? How many names are on my list right now, right? Do I need to have a new list? Am I trying to resurrect people from the morgue? Like Jess says, you know, or am I ever growing a list? I remember Jeff Combs at an event years ago saying you would rather have a list of a hundred people that you reached out to 10 times than a list of 10 people that you reach out to a hundred times. Okay. Now there are people everywhere. I watch Emily Sutherland meet waitresses and Uber drivers and ladies in line at Costco. And that works great for her. You guys, I'm barely leaving the house right now. And if I am leaving the house, I have so much empathy for people that were like, I tried to shower with a baby. And I was like, I got spit up on this side and I've got a hair mess over on this side. I'm like, I am not presentable. Right. But I was like, I know I can meet people anywhere that you've got to always be adding to that list. Okay. So those are my three things that I want to tell you about just consistency. And that can go on and on. And there's great tips in here. But hold yourself accountable. Because when I say if you work this business in your pockets, but you really do it, it'll work. So many of us are frustrated. But if you had a part-time job as Uber or Instacart or a seasonal job for the holidays, the amount of hours you would clock in and clock out, if you literally treated your business like that and clocked in and clocked out and held yourself accountable to just these simple things, I promise you, you would see massive change in your enrollments and your cycles, right? And so if you're frustrated that you're not cycling where you want to be and the enrollments are not where you want to be, go back to just those three things, those three, three, three things and see what starts to happen. 
So I was texting Erica Rothenberger. I don't even know if she's on this call right now. Last week on the All Associates call, because she opened it up about just having no excuses and how easy it is to make the excuses. And I literally sent her a picture and I have the baby on my chest and I was making these lactation cookies and I was listening to her on the call, right? Like hadn't showered yet. And I was like, look at it, no excuses. I missed the mastermind, right? I wanted to go at all intentions of going. For those of you that haven't heard my labor story, it was not great. I can't fly because I'm at a risk for blood clots. So I didn't end up going, but I thought I was going and I was devastated. And since then I've been plugging into everything, just trying to get caught up and so excited about what's happening. But I can tell you, there was a moment, right? Like, I'm like, do I have to get on this call right now? Like, it could have easily been like, it's five o'clock. I want to do this. Jessica and Abby and, you know, Renee already kind of filled me in on this. I'll figure it out. And I said, no, I want to show up. I want to support our com our company. I want to, if I'm tagging other people to get on there, if I ask Jen Youngs and I ask Laura and I ask Sheena and I ask Emily and I ask all these people to get on the call and I'm not on there, like, you have to walk the talk, Right. And I said, I have got to be on here as much as everybody else. And it's the accountability, right? And it's the excitement. It's the enthusiasm. And I'm telling you, the woman on there, I don't know her name. Someone might remember her name. The new chick that Hillary Courtney enrolled. She had me so fired up. I mean, that girl was on a, a, a on a tangent. I mean, Mike Mallory had to cut her off. But I was like, holy bananas. And it's that type of energy you want to be around. And it reminds you who's out there, who's looking for us. And she said it, she was, I was praying for someone to find me. She was sidelined from the industry. She had had huge success in another company. Things had happened. She was looking, someone, she was looking to be found, right? Of course, Hillary Courtney would have found her, but you hear those stories and it validates the profession and the type of people that are out there that we have not even met the people who are going to come in and change our business. Okay. So when we think about things like, oh, I don't really want to listen to that podcast today. I want to listen to country music no excuses. Listen to podcasts, right? You're like, I don't really feel like reading right now. I want to check out and I want to watch my show. There's a time for TV, but you know what? Read your 10 pages a day and say there's no excuses, right? Just like we're like, uh, I don't really want to have a shake today. I want to have a donut. No, have your shake and then have half a donut. Like whatever it is, but treat your business like that. And I promise you things are going to change. And I challenge you be so radically responsible right now when you are staying in your comfort zone, when you're doing the things that hold you back because you're used to being there, they're not serving you and write down the excuses that come up and then make a different change. When something comes up that you are talking yourself out of the thing you want to be doing, write it down on paper and say, this excuse doesn't owe me. This is no longer an excuse. And then take action in the complete opposite of whatever it is that you are holding yourself back from. If it's reading, if it's listening to the podcast, if it's calling someone, if it's posting on social media, if it's following up with someone, if it's reaching down to a team member, okay, get the excuses out and replace it with action. I promise it's incredible. So the last little thing here that I wanted to share with you before I leave you with the action items is this idea of like, how do you address change, right? If you are someone that's like, bring on change, right? I love it. I love the challenge. I love a fresh start. Like, it's really cool to like check things out or whatever, you know, put a 10 in the chat. And if you are someone that's like, oh my gosh, I absolutely hate change. I'm so uncomfortable with it. I fear it. Like, I think something weird is about to happen. I always, you know, whatever, put an X in the chat. Let's just see and be honest because there are a lot of people that don't like change. Like Erica's an 11. That's how much she loves change, right? Timmy is like, I used to hate it. Now it gets her excited. And that can be with anything, right? Some people like to move. Some people don't like to move. Some people want to eat at the same place because they know the food they go to is safe and they want to always go to a new restaurant. Like whatever it is, I want you to be really honest with that, okay? And the reason I'm bringing this up is there's some big changes in isogenics. And there are some people that fear it and they want to create a story of what is not happening because it's like, oh my gosh, it's not what I've ever heard. And that's not a bad thing, right? I'm someone that's so open to change when I'm like, oh my gosh, that's innovation. That's growth. That's improvement. That's exciting, right? If I look at any of the places I've lived, every time I changed, it was an up level. It was an upgrade. So why would I ever say I hate moving, right? Every time I moved, I moved into a better house or better neighborhood. I got a better roommate, got a better husband. I only had one, but from a roommate to a husband, right? Like all the things, it kept getting better and better and better. This company is never been more aligned. It's never had the investment potential that it has. It's never had the team of leadership. It's never had the science development, the marketing, like everything that's happening. And I want you guys to be so excited about that. If you are not getting on the call on Thursday night, you better have some dang good, absolute life-threatening reason. Otherwise, you want to be on that call 
because you are going to be blown away with the things the company is doing. They continue to put out more promotions. They continue to put out more money for the greater good. I will tell you that some people came to Isogenics when they heard it was a family company, right? And that it was privately held and founded by the Coovers. And that's awesome. And that's what got us here. But to get us there, you guys think about any of the major companies that you support, the household names. We don't know who owns them, who finances them. And that's because they're so successful, right? So the core values and the culture of Isogenics is always going to be here. But where we're going is because because it's growth, okay? So when we think about the things that had gotten us here, whether that was part of the compensation, that was part of the story, lose your attachment to that and be so open to where we're headed. Because I'm telling you, when I'm messaging people, Jessica Verbage is oozing out of me. I mean, I have listened to so many voice memos from her and so many calls that I could like literally master. I sent her one the other day. I was like, is this what you're saying? She was literally, you took the words out of my mouth. I was like, I'm trying, I'm trying as fast as I can. And you know, I'm plagiarizing like a pro over here. But talking about if you knew us 21 years ago, you don't know us now, right? We had this huge cash infusion. We've got insane market disruptor products coming out, a new cash bonus, you know, that anybody can be a part of. We're stacking our team with incredible, you know, people that are in the industry that you would be silly not to join us. You'd be silly not to put these incredible products in your body. And my posture is so strong and my excitement. And I'm coming from a place of gratitude that I'm home excited about where isogenics is going and then a future so bright that i envision what is possible for that person when i'm talking to them so when some people came to isogenics because of the story of the coovers i will tell you the thing that i loved the most about our compensation plan specifically right that i fell in love with it and that this will forever be my home was it was heavy on the front end it was heavy in the middle and it was heavy on the back end and any time I had ever been pitched this industry, I saw all the shiny objects that people got lured into. But then I was like, then what? Like after they get this car, after they get these initial bonuses and nobody made money on the back end, right? Or I saw companies that there were so very few that could weather it out and stick it through and made all this money on the back end, right? It was so unfair to everybody else. And you were like creating all these fabricated orders and moving money around and changing placements and manipulating the compensation plan. So these few people who really got in early could make all the money. And I saw Isogenics and I was like, oh my gosh, between our PIBs, between the rank advancement bonuses, between the cycles, between the leadership pools, between the trips, I'm like, everybody wins. And when I was privileged to get in the screenshots that were at the mastermind, not being there and before they're released to the field, I mean, I was in total awe. And I said, once again, they've done it where they are taking care of the entire field, where they have leveled this playing field that the brand new person that I enrolled this morning and Jessica Rigner have the same opportunities financially. They have the same opportunities opportunities to grow this business, to get paid with their bonuses, to grow a team. And that freaking excites me. And so I want you guys to be really, really open to what changes of the bonuses that you may have had are changing, but the ones that are coming on and what's available to other people. And I want you between that and this shake drop to reach out to more people than you have ever reached out to with excitement and with enthusiasm on what's possible for them. So your shake tips, okay? In no particular order, these are just rattled off. I don't have any notes. They're just coming up to me. So if you guys have extra ones, Jessica, Erica, Emily, Laura, please type them in the chat. Let everybody learn from them. But the first thing I would tell you is make sure it's on social media, okay? Your lights have got to be on your store. Make sure there's a post. People are watching you. That is the easiest way to expose your followers to these orders, okay? In your stories, on your Instagram, in your Facebook, in your messages, use your social media, okay? The second is go through your current customers. I know some of you use Project Broadcast. Some of you might have a contact managing system like Flowdesk or, you know, Constant Contact where you're sending out emails. If you happen to get an email from like Susan Sly or somebody else, you want to blast that out to everybody, but your current customers. And here's a pro tip, you guys. If you go to your personally enrolled details, Okay. And the phone numbers are all the way at the end. You can print that off or you can copy and paste them, you know, and you can create a group chat. You can use WhatsApp. There's all kinds of different text services out there. And then just message them all, right? And just like with a graphic, a little voice memo or a little glib and just say, hey, thank you for being a great customer. Or, hey, I know you already have an open account. Heads up, the seasonal shakes are dropping. They're going to sell out fast. I'm ordering Snickerdoodle and Maple. Tell me which one you're getting, right? 
I was like sending out messages today. I was like, I'm ordering both shakes and without a doubt the bundle because there's no way I'm missing out on that bag, right? Like that's what I was sending to people. And they're like, what bag? Like people now are gonna do the bundle because they want to have the bag. They're super, super excited about it. Go to your inactive customers, right? I know it's been a while. If you're like me and you love everything fall flavor, we have, you know, given it a creative look, right? With pumpkin spices for, you know, the easy ones. We've launched snickerdoodle, blah, blah, blah. Like get creative with it. Get fun with it. Then find your runners. Find the people who want to rank advance and teach them how to do this because this is the week that people can go five cycle bonus one star, two star, right? Because there's massive volume running through the tree at one time. So you want to grab a hold of a couple people on your left and a couple people on your right that are really going it for it this week, that are going to declare a goal, that are going to have crockpot dinners, sleepless nights, message more people than ever before, because they are going to have so much volume going through their organization that they're going to hit that target for the very first time or the second time or whatever that may be, okay? And as outside of your um, rank advancement goals, your inactive and your current customers, then teach it to your team, right? Grab a hold of a couple new people and just say, hey, I know you've been looking for ways to get your products for free. If I sent you some verbiage and a graphic, would you have a couple friends that you think would be interested in trying these shakes? Would you be willing to put a post up? Let's see who's interested that we can get your products for free. All right. These are great ways that people are going to pay attention because sometimes people get desensitized to our collagen post or our before and after post, or they see it all the time. Right now, this is new, this is fresh, and people are going to pay attention. And the last thing I want to tell you is with this bonus, and we're getting people excited about coming back, as much as we don't want to resurrect people from the morgue, I love when Jess says that, right? We're not giving CPR at the morgue. Timing has changed. If you are someone who maybe when the business was first approached to you, you were not ready for it, but then months or years later, all of a sudden you were ready for it and your season had changed, put a smiley face in, okay? I'm one of those people. When I first was introduced to Isogenics was in 2008, five years later, five years later in 2013 is when I came in and I came in with a vengeance, all right? People's seasons change, people's jobs changes, their marriages changes, their health changes. There's something, April saying it, Ashley Duchico saying it, Susie saying it, Emily saying it, right? For whatever reason, when they first learned about the business, it wasn't right. And then when someone went back to them and the season had changed, it was right. This is the time to go back to people and not just your personally enrolled. If you have a business that's mature enough that you had other leaders, other managers, directors, executives below you, start combing the tree, start going through them and just say, hey, I know a long time ago you were enrolled with so-and-so. If you're open to a chat, I'd love to, you know, tell you what's happening. Isogenics has some incredible products coming out. You know, our 30 days had a facelift. The team bonus that's available for everybody is so generous. And I'm on a personal mission to get everybody an additional holiday bonus this year. Do you have a couple minutes to chat with me? That's the message I'm sending, right? I'm reaching out to people who are so inactive that were people underneath my sister, underneath two stars, three stars that we had. And just saying, I cannot believe the bonus Isogenics just launched. I'm personally committed to helping everybody get an additional holiday bonus this year. Do you have a couple minutes to chat with me? Are you open to learning how you can do this? Okay. They're short, they're sweet, but people are ready. We know that we are in inflation still. We know that people are struggling financially. We know that they have scarcity around the holidays. And they've already been bought into the products at some point that they're open. But what they know is that their sponsor is probably not doing it. They haven't ordered in too long. They're probably embarrassed to say that they you know, got off the products or whatnot. They're not going to come to us. It's rare that they're going to come and say, hey, teach me how to do this. Or, hey, I need to get back on the system. It does on occasion. But I'm telling you, when you're proactive, people say, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I haven't heard from my sponsor in forever. Yes, I want to know more. How have the products changed? And you will see huge, huge, huge growth in your business by digging through the people you already have. And I'll tell you, it's super fun because there's people in here that knew me that I didn't know. Because guess who's on our Facebook pages? Guess who's doing the Facebook lives? Guess who's done the team calls, right? But I reached out to them and they said, oh my gosh, I've been following your journey or, oh, I knew all about this or, oh, it was fun to watch your wedding. And I'm like, I'm embarrassed that I don't really know you, but tell me, like, how did you get enrolled? What did you love? Like, you know, why did you get out of our Facebook pages? Like build the relationship, build the trust and create a whole new class. There are people out there that are looking for this. And when I tell you the seasons have changed, the seasons are always changing and people who weren't ready for it then are ready for it now. So you guys, it's gonna be a great, great week. I'm gonna make sure we end off um, here in just a minute. If you have any questions, 
about this. If I want that, ask me, ask Jess, ask Laura, ask Holly, ask Anne, ask Brandy, ask April. Like there's so many amazing leaders. Ask Denise, you know, ask Adrian on this call. Talk to Barb. I mean, we've got some people who have been here for a very, very, very long time. Ask for the verbiage, for the shake. Don't reinvent it. Be like, what are you sending out? Laura Lori, right before this, dropped a, a text that she's sending out to people and said, what's everybody else doing? Share your messages. We all win when we all win, okay? Get every single person running together this week. Set some goals. Text your accountability partner and say, you know what? I'm going for my highest cycle goals for quarter three right now. I'm finishing quarter three strong. This is what I'm going for by Sunday night, right? Tell somebody I'm hitting one star for the first time. I'm getting the five cycle bonus for the second time. I'm going two star. You know, I'm going to hit director, like whatever that is, tell somebody, put your head down, get consistent, make no excuses, have fun, get your energy right and go crush this week. I love you guys. We'll see you next Monday. Thanks, Janelle. I see your script.